hey guys, Slipcover Steve, and I've actually got a little bit of a different video for you today. I know you're like, Steve, books are stupid, why are you talking about them? It's related to movies, calm down. I'm talking about my uh, movie novelization collection. Um, I don't really like collecting these, if I find them really cheap, I like to pick them up because, you know, I think like, in the short term, while people are, you know, quote-unquote, still reading, uh, I can, you know, pick these up and maybe trade them, you know, as they become rare, you know, because they're going to quit printing books. Let's just face it, books are not going to be probably available, you know, within the next, you know, five years. They're going to be just gone, because it's a waste of time. No one's taking the time to read these, you know. You, you could read a book, and it's going to take you, like, what, like two years? You know, in that same time, like... You could just watch, you know, like an hour and a half long movie, which you're probably not even going to want to do that. So why are you even going to do this? You're not going to read this. Um, so I've been collecting these, you know, more for like short term personal gains, hoping, you know, I'll get some sucker to, you know, kind of swoop in and offer me like some sick rare, you know, out of print Blu-rays for him. So let me get into my collection here. The first one I have here is like this um, novelization of Dracula. I don't know, like, which version this is based on, because there's been, like, a bunch of, like, remakes and stuff. I'm assuming this is probably, you know, the Hammer version, because this particular book looks pretty old. Like, you know, look at that. Like, that's pretty ancient looking. So, um, that's my assumption. It's probably the Hammer version. It could be, like, that, like, um, that 90s one, maybe. I don't know, because that's pretty old, too. You know, those, that Hammer movie, that one's, that one's a snoozer, you know, that, like, that's the kind of thing you watch if you're just, like, trying to fall asleep, you know, sometimes I'll just put on, like, old crap, and I'm like, man, I cannot sleep, I can't sleep, so I just pop one of those on, I'm just like, I'm out in five minutes, you know, I never put them in my player or anything, again, you know, I try not to really play my discs, it hurts the value, because they get used, you know, they scratch, and then I can't sell it, so, you know, if try and find on something like, you know, uh, Tubi, you know, or, you know, Netflix, you know, they usually will have that kind of stuff just there because they're practically giving those movies away because no one's watching them. But yeah, you know, have you, like, read any of, like, the, you know, novelizations of Dracula? Do you have a preferred one? Is this, like, you know, is this, like, one that's going to be worth, like, major cash? Am I, like, do I own the wrong novelization? You know, let me know. I, I don't know a lot about this particular hobby, but I'm hoping, again, you know, if you've got, like, something of note, just let me know. Then we've got like this. This is a novelization of Dune. Um, I don't understand. You know, again, you'd think like these novelizations would be like nice and thin, but you know, I guess like people are like, are they like, you know, writing like everything down? They're like talking about like the grains of sand in Dune or something, because why is this book so ginormous? I don't get it, because I'm assuming this is probably just based on the first one. Um, chapter 2, I, I assume it has its own novelization, which I guess I'm going to have to get to complete the set, so that way I can be like, you know, you want to give me, like, you know, some out-of-print Blu-ray for these? But I don't know. Personally, you know, I'd say if you're looking for, like, some kind of giant worm movie, I'd, I'd recommend, you know, probably Tremors, like, 7. You know, it's a more recent, you know, Tremors movie. That movie's all significantly better than any of the Dune movies. Um... That would be what I'd recommend. I would not really recommend, you know, I definitely wouldn't recommend reading, but, but you know, like, I, I would absolutely say, you know, you don't want to check out this book. All right, and this is for the novelization of It, um, from director Stephen King. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the first one, um, but I do really like that, uh, that, that second one that came out. Like, I thought that one, like, actually was, like, kind of worthwhile, so I'd really like to get the novelization of that at some point. Again, I don't really know. Some of these novelizations, just like, you really want me to read this? Like, look at that font. Like, that's so small. There's, there's not even any pictures, not any production stills or anything for, like, the movie. I do not understand. You know, you'd think there'd be, like, a 10-page ad in here talking about the sequel, because that was, like, already, like, in development, like, when the first one came out. But, like, you know, here we are, you know, it's just it's just word after word after word, all in small font. I don't have time for this, and I'm sure you don't either. My boy Gladwell on the forums was telling me, you know, if I'm looking for sick novelizations to add to my collection, that, you know, this one was one to get, because he said even though the name says this, it's actually a novelization for Hellraiser. Um, 
I'm assuming it's not for the old timey one because I got this like in a, a recent like a newer store like that just carries books which is really bizarre that that's something that exists uh, I kind of felt bad you know so I wanted to go in and support them so you know they at least had some money to buy some dinner because I doubt anyone buying books but like um yeah I imagine this is based on the uh the Hulu movie um I don't know if you saw that like that one's way better than the old one uh that old one's like obnoxious and kind of hard to sit through but you know that one that new one was pretty sick um so I don't know if there's a novelization for like the old Hellraiser or any of the other Hellraiser movies but um there's at least this so you know if you're like some weird uh, Hellraiser freak and you feel like you need to have like merchandise work because I don't really think there's a lot of merch for Hellraiser out there it's kind of like an obscure brand um you know at least you could pick up this book you know it's something at least you know so you know if you're like interested in helping me like make a lot of money please you know go out there and you know buy a copy of this book so it like goes out of print and then you know I can be laughing all the way to the bank and so can you because you know once this book is out of print because again nobody no one's buying books you know it's just collectors and dorks and I assume if you're watching this you're not really like a book dork because you know you're probably just looking for something to put on the shelf and that's cool you know I get it you know maybe you're hoping you're gonna get some big cash for this kind of stuff I don't really think books are ever going to be worth money. It's just such an old-timey, you know, format. But, you know, it's very out of date. You know, literally back to, like, God, like the caveman days, the horse and buggy days. So, you know, that's that's how I feel about it. You know, no one, no one wants that crap. I don't have anything to say about this one. This is a novelization of uh, An Anhyl An Anhylation. Um... I do at least appreciate, you know, like this and that Hellraiser novelization are at least small, but, you know, again, you know, they could have made the words a bit bigger. Again, I don't understand what it is with these, like, novelizations not having, like, you know, a bunch of, like, pictures, you know, a bunch of color photos from, like, the movie. Like, how else am I supposed to get into this? I don't, I don't know what they want from me. Um, the only reason I have this, because that's not even a movie I've watched. I think it's, like, some kind of, like, heartwarming movie about, like, a bear or something. But, you know, this was my ex's, and, uh, you know, when she was, like, leaving, I was just kind of, like, stealing crap of hers that I could sell, because, like, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna be able to pay for rent by myself, so this was something I snagged, and hoping, you know, someone out there after seeing this is just gonna make some kind of offer again, whether it be trade or cash, you know, is this, like, is this a pretty, like, sought-after novelization? I, I've never really seen anyone talk about it, so maybe it's rare. And back on the Hulu train, we're talking about... Uh, the Books of Blood. Um, this that was a pretty sick movie. You guys watch that Hulu movie, and Hulu makes like some pretty like sick flicks. Um, and that was a pretty good one for like you know a more recent movie. Um, I got this one like at a library. You know, I, I just think like again, you know, you can find novelizations pretty good at like libraries because it's just kind of one of those things that I think people aren't generally looking for in a library. You know, you kind of just got like a bunch of like nerdy dorks like doing research there. So I was able to snag this one for pretty much like nothing. I think it was like 50 cents. And I'm like, you know, that movie's sick. I'll get the novelization added to the pile, you know. I, I'm assuming, you know, I'll be able to get, you know, I don't know, probably like at least a hundred dollars for this at this point, because I, I can't imagine too many people uh, own the novelization of that movie. And that movie came out, you know, what was it like ten years ago? I feel like at least it feels like it was ten years ago. I have no idea, but um, but yeah, I don't know how it compares. I assume it's just you know word for word what the script was and everything. You know, but obviously they had high expectations for this. They even let, like, the author of the novelization have an introduction. So, you know, they knew, like, this this novelization was going to be pretty pretty sought after. So I'm assuming it's probably pretty rare. Um, you know, pretty rare and, and pretty well wanted. So it's an awesome piece, I guess, for now. So there you go, guys. That's my small novelization collection. Again, I hate books. If you are interested in anything you see, please... Uh, DM me, you know, make a forum post. I'll probably see it. Uh, let me know, you know, a cash value on the pay for these rare collectibles so I can get them out of my house. They can go into your house. Otherwise, you know, probably in the next, you know, 30 days if they're still here, I'm either just going to burn them or, you know, just start tearing the pages out and putting them in the trash because 
you know, books are really just disgusting. I'm not a horse and buggy guy. I don't care about, you know, like Amish lifestyle or anything. You know, I'm an electric man. You know, I like the internet. I'm not going to spend time reading this garbage. So if you can give me a hand and, you know, help me like make some money, that would be awesome. So thanks for checking this out, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content.